Imagine gazing out at a vast ocean, but instead of the calming blues and turquoise hues, you see a startling green shimmer. Believe it or not, this isn't science fiction. Our planet's oceans are subtly but significantly turning green. What's causing this mysterious transformation and what does it mean for the health of our seas? Today, we dive deep to explore the science behind the greening oceans. A global greening trend. It all started with a whisper, a murmur amongst scientists analyzing satellite data. These weren't your average vacation photos from space. These were detailed maps of our planet's oceans, painted in a vast palette of blues. But something was amiss. Year after year, a subtle shift began to emerge. The vibrant turquoise hues around the Bahamas seemed to lose their luster. The deep sapphire waters of the Mediterranean began to show hints of emerald. It was like a slow-motion watercolor painting, the blue steadily giving way to a creeping green. At first, it was a scientific curiosity, a data point begging for explanation. But as the greening trend became undeniable, a sense of urgency gripped the scientific community. The vast expanse of blue that covered most of our planet, the very cradle of life, was undergoing a mysterious transformation. What unseen forces were at play, and what did this mean for the future of our oceans? The Culprit As scientists delved deeper into the greening phenomenon, a prime suspect emerged, phytoplankton. Imagine a world unseen by the naked eye, a teeming metropolis populated by microscopic organisms. These phytoplankton, the base of the marine food chain, are the tiny engines that power the ocean's ecosystem. They come in a rainbow of colors, but for the most part, they blend seamlessly with the blue use of the water. However, a particular type, the green phytoplankton, seemed to be having a moment. These green phytoplankton, with their chlorophyll-rich bodies, are efficient at capturing sunlight for photosynthesis. When conditions are right, they can erupt in massive blooms, painting vast stretches of ocean green. Normally, these blooms are a natural phenomenon, a vital part of the ocean cycle. But the recent surge in green phytoplankton blooms seemed to be different. It was widespread, persistent, and scientists worried it might be a sign of deeper imbalance. So, are we talking about an ocean filled with pea soup? Not quite. The greeting is subtle, a shift in you rather than a complete color change. But for scientists who monitor the delicate balance of the ocean ecosystem, even a slight green tint can be a cause for concern. It's like a canary in a coal mine, a warning sign that something might be going wrong beneath the surface. A sign of change. The greening trend wasn't simply a case of overenthusiastic green phytoplankton. Scientists suspected a more complex culprit lurking beneath the waves ocean stratification. Imagine the ocean not as a giant pot of soup, but as a layered cake. The surface layer, warmed by the sun, tends to be lighter and less likely to mix with the deeper, colder water below. This division is crucial for maintaining a healthy ocean. The colder, nutrient-rich deep water acts like a pantry, storing essential minerals and elements that phytoplankton need to thrive. However, Climate change is throwing a wrench into this delicate balance. As our planet warms, the surface water heats up even more, creating a thicker, warmer layer that acts like a lid, trapping the cold, nutrient-rich water below. This is ocean stratification, and it's bad news for phytoplankton that thrive on those very nutrients. With limited access to their nutrient pantry, some phytoplankton species struggle, but the green troublemakers? they seem to have an unfair advantage. These green phytoplankton are more adept at surviving in nutrient-depleted surface waters. With less competition from their nutrient-hungry brethren, they can thrive, leading to the greening effect we see from space. The Ripple Effect The greening oceans aren't just an aesthetic concern. They pose a significant threat to marine life. Imagine a domino effect with each toppling piece representing a potential ecological disaster. Here's how the greening trend could disrupt the delicate balance of the seas. 
Excessive green phytoplankton blooms can have unintended consequences. While they photosynthesize, they also consume vast amounts of oxygen. When these blooms die and decompose, they create oxygen-depleted zones, suffocating other marine organisms like fish, shrimp, and crabs that rely on a healthy oxygen level to survive. Photoplankton are the foundation of the marine food chain. A shift in the type and abundance of phytoplankton can disrupt the entire food web. Imagine smaller fish, which feed on phytoplankton, struggling to find food. This, in turn, affects the larger fish populations that humans rely on for food security. Millions of people around the world depend on healthy fish stocks, and the greening trend could threaten their livelihood. As green phytoplankton decompose, they release carbon dioxide into the water. This additional CO2 reacts with seawater, making it more acidic. Ocean acidification is a major threat to marine life, particularly organisms with calcium carbonate shells and skeletons, like coral reefs and shellfish. Imagine a once vibrant coral reef bleached and crumbling due to rising acidity a stark reminder of the potential consequences of a greening ocean. The greening trend is a symptom of a larger problem, climate change. It's a wake-up call for all of us. We need to take immediate action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and protect our oceans. If we don't, the consequences for marine life and ultimately for us could be devastating. Solutions and the Future the greening oceans present a challenge, but it's not too late to course correct. Here's what we can do to ensure our oceans remain blue and teeming with life. Understanding the greening phenomenon requires continued scientific exploration. More research is needed to pinpoint the exact causes and potential long-term consequences. By unraveling the mysteries of the greening trend, scientists can develop effective mitigation strategies. The greening trend is a stark reminder of the urgency of addressing climate change. Transitioning to renewable energy sources, reducing greenhouse gas emissions, and implementing sustainable practices are all crucial steps towards a healthier planet and healthier oceans. Pollution from agriculture, industry, and coastal development all contribute to ocean degradation. Embracing sustainable practices like responsible waste management, Cleaner energy sources and stricter pollution regulations can significantly reduce the stress on our oceans. The future of our oceans hangs in the balance. The greening trend is a warning sign, but it's also an opportunity. By taking decisive action, by fostering international cooperation, and by harnessing the power of science and innovation, we can chart a course for blue oceans, healthy, vibrant, and teeming with life for generations to come. The fate of our oceans is in our hands. Let's work together to ensure they remain a source of wonder and a source of life for our planet. Thanks for joining us today. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. Thanks for watching.